Yo, what's going on guys? This is Sid aka Vicious274 coming at you with another review. Uh, now before I get into this, I just want to say a uh, long time no see. I know it's been a while since I've been uh, doing reviews and other videos. I really apologize for that. I've just had a lot going on um, over the holidays and then getting a new job and concentrating on that. Uh, but things are going really well and um, I'm working on more reviews and more videos for you guys and I thought since I'm coming back now, why not start it off with a bang with this monster ramp right here from Black River Ramps. Um, this is one of their new uh, ramps to hit the scene. I believe it's just called the Stair Set New. And um, it is a beast. As you can see, it is like taking up the majority of my desk here. Um, the, it's about two feet in length, uh, about 10 inches in width and three inches high to this point, and to the top of the rail, it's about six inches high. Now, when you flip it around to the other way, it also has this little kicker here, which is tons of fun. And if any of you have seen their, um, their mini kicker, it's relatively about the same size as that. This is maybe a little bigger. Overall, uh, the ramp is tons of fun. I mean, you've got this massive area here where you can even just do flat tricks, and then uh, you also have this edge here where you could put like another kicker or maybe continue on with another ramp and then or put like a ledge here and just go off here onto the ledge. This ramp has like all kinds of possibilities. Um, with the, uh, the rail, you'll notice it's painted uh, yellow and uh, over time, uh, depending on how much you, you thrash it, uh, the paint will eventually come off. Mine has been holding up very well and um, it is smooth right out of the box didn't have to wax it or anything um, but I you're gonna notice here these two posts they actually go in to the stair set here and then you screw in the ends this way now when I first got this ramp I tried it without the screws just to see if these holes would be sufficient enough to hold the rail it does but it still kind of has a little bit of a wobble so um, I actually ended up putting the screws in. If you decide to do that, don't make the mistake that I did. Um, I actually used a short um, screwdriver, like a short length screwdriver. And what ended up happening was um, the screw started going in on an angle because basically the screwdriver was on an angle and uh, the rail's not sitting completely flush in some areas, but that's my own fault. What I did with the uh, two remaining screws is I got a longer screwdriver that like sat up to here and I was able to screw all the way down and those ones went in straight. I tried fixing the other two, um, but I didn't want to damage the wood too much and make the hole too big and then the screw wouldn't end up sitting in there at all. So I just left it the way it was and it works fine. Um, having said that, one of the things that I would have liked to have seen different on this ramp are these posts right here. Um, I think that these posts could have been eliminated. Uh, there's no need for it to stick actually into the ramp because these supports here are sufficient enough to keep the, the rail stable. And without these posts being fixed into the ramp, it gives you the option of moving the, the rail closer to this side or more centered. Um, not really more on this side because of the, um, because of the kicker here, but it, it would just give you that that added feature of being able to place it wherever you like. Because quite honestly, when I'm using this ramp and I'm doing rail tricks, I kind of like to keep my wrist free, um, like not over the ramp like this. It kind of like gets in the way for me sometimes. It takes a little getting used to for me. Other, other fingerboarders have no problem doing that. I'm just saying for my personal preference, um, I would have liked to have moved the rail a little more this way, and then I'd be able to do my tricks onto the, way, the rail a little more comfortably. Um, but all in all, that's really the only recommendation or suggestion that I would have for this ramp. But one of the things that I absolutely loved about this ramp, it's a small thing, but it makes a world of a difference. And that's the bottom. The bottom is completely sealed, except for the kicker. The rest of it is completely sealed. Now, as far as I know, this is a first for Black River ramps. Usually Black River ramps, the bottom is completely open. And what that can do is it can kind of make, depending on the ramp, it can make it a little noisy. And I know a lot of fingers up, out there uh, stay up late and they like to session their rooms. And some of the ramps can leave, can 
like when you're landing on it can it can be like kind of a lot a loud echo. Um, so with this, that salt that piece underneath kind of eliminates that echo, so you can do some night sessions without disturbing anybody in the house. Um, another thing that I found is it um, it it makes it feel more more durable. Like black rubber ramps are already durable as it is, but this just feels like more beefy. It's like it's it's not going anywhere. If I drop this, it's going to stay together. And it makes it a lot easier to put non-sliders on. However, I haven't had the need to put non-sliders on. It's been pretty stable, even on this desk, which is, you can see it's kind of gloss, like slick, but when I'm seshing it, it doesn't really seem to move. Um, other than that, there's really not much more to say. I mean, you do get your, the, the, what's known with Black River are the nail holes here along the sides, but those don't get in the way of uh, when you're seshing. I mean, not a big deal. This kicker is tons of fun going up and then on, down to the rail. It's just, I'm absolutely in love with this ramp. Um, these ramps are available at uh, blackriverramps.com and flatfacefingerboards.com. On Flatface, I believe it comes out to $86. And then on Black River's site, they sell it in euros, but uh, you would need to go to Google and do like a Google um, currency converter to find out how much it would be, but it'll probably be around the same price, $86. Um, I know it's a little pricey, but when you look at what you're getting, I mean, this ramp is massive. And if you already have other ramps in your collection, you can easily make a little plaza or maybe even a park with this um, added to your arsenal. All right, guys, so all the information that you're gonna need in regards to like um, social media, websites, anything that you need to know about Black River, I'm going to have in the description box below. So go check them out and keep fingerboarding. Two fingers, peace.